I think the summer is over because it's kind of chilly. Hey to you and how you be everybody, Jan Agosto here, welcome to Taino Inc. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take a photo and turn it into a shirt design using Photoshop and also I'm going to show you guys how to take that photo and expose it on a screen and print it on a shirt. So let's get started. Before we start, let me explain to you the process of taking a photo and turning it into a t-shirt design. It's all about the half tones. I'm going to explain to you in Photoshop the frequency and angle of half tones. The other thing is, if this is your first time doing it or you've never done it before, start with a 230 mesh. Best to start with a 230 mesh, not a 305. Do not do half tones with a 110. 160 is not going to happen. Start with a 230 mesh. The other thing, it comes when it's about the exposure unit. Everybody has a different exposure unit. So you have to figure out your exposure. So what you do is, with, when you're dealing with half tones, start with about 30 seconds and see what happens. If, it, if it's if, if it gives you problems coming out, move it up to 40 seconds. That's how you de determine your exposure unit time for your mesh count. My exposure unit will do about 30 seconds on a 230 mesh. On a 305, it's a little less. It's, I think it's about 25 seconds, 24 seconds, just so it could come out good. You will know once you take it to the wash booth and you rinse it off, it's coming out very easy. If it's giving you problems, you overexposed. That's what it is. So let's get started. So let's get started. This is the picture they sent. What I want to do is I want to make sure that this part here is what's going to go on the shirt. I'm going to hold this is spacing I'm going to use. So what I did was I got came up with that one there. From that, now I want to get all this, the background, especially this part that's wrinkle. So what you do is you come to the quick selection tool, you click on it. And there you're going to start highlighting what you want to keep. And this is what I came up with. There you go. Now you're going to go to file, open up new. And we're going to use a 13 by 19 film. I'm going to open it up. Bring it here. Now we're going to drag and place it on the 13 by 19 film. And we're going to size it up. Go to edit, transform scale, and we're gonna probably do a 11 by 12. Don't look distorted. And there it is. Picture already ready. Now, let's go. We're gonna put this on a screen, and the way you set it up is you go to image, you go to mode. You got a grayscale, which is already grayscale, but let's do it. Let it load, grayscale. Go back back to mid, mid, um, image mode, hit bitmap, OK. Now it's going to ask you input 300 pixels. Output has to be the same. You really want to go half tone, we're going to half tone, and there goes a half tone. Now the frequency, the frequency, any um just all you take is the number of your screen i'm using a 230 so if you take 230 divided by five you will get a 46 frequency that's what you will have so it'll 22 five you could go 27 you have to check the angles but when it comes to pictures 22 by five has worked for you you press okay and now you will see the half tones already if i zoom in see all the half tones already there and I'm not even using uh, accurate because I don't have accurate so we're gonna see it how it looks without the accurate the accurate would have made these details much much smoother it would have looked much better but this is what we have to go with so now I'm gonna print it on the film 
and burn it on the screen. So let's do this. Let me start putting the black. Everything is all set up already. Squeaky ready. Already registered, as you see. And now we're gonna put in the shirt. Make sure that how it looks. The regular shirt. So let's start, let's flood, and let's see how this baby came out. Let's do it again, and let's see. Woo! Oh, man. Let's check it out. Look at that. Beautiful. The dress, the cake, the details. Nice. Here's a tip. If you have a client that's looking to get a dozen or two dozen shirts, heat press with just a regular picture, try to convince them that I could do that picture and convert it into black and white photo and screen print it on a shirt. They will go for it. Believe me, they will go for it because you've got to tell them once you watch the heat press paper, it's going to start cracking, it's going to fade away, but the screen printing, it will last you a very long time. Plus, these clients, they wanted some silver print on top of the photo, which uh, heat press or DTG cannot do only screen printing. So I was it was easy for me to convince them Let's do a screen printing and they went for it and that saves you money that you don't have to be wasting toner or Heat press paper and once you have it on the screen it's ready to go. So let's check out the final result Let's check out the print. First, the silver came out real nice. You can see it went with the vintage. Now the detail, the face, the dress came out real nice. The detail. So that's how you take a photo and put it on a t-shirt. And if you wanna do colors, I have a video on how to do CMYK, check it out and you could do all colors using the same method, all with half tones. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all, be grateful and peace.